Hey everyone, this is Jay, and today I'll be unboxing the MacBook Pro 13 inch 2010 edition. So let's get started here. And there it is, wrapped in plastic. Some features on the side and there's the front. 13, MacBook Pro 13 inch LED backlit widescreen notebook. I think I just broke the scissors. <laughs> okay, so that's not enough. Cut it. There we go. Wow, this is the worst unboxing ever. All right. We got it open. Sure, it doesn't fall out. There it is. Silky smooth. Designed by Apple in California. And there's plastic wrapping on it. And here it is. I guess I'll compare it with another notebook. This is the Asus T101MT notebook. This is a 10 inch notebook, netbook actually. And there's the size difference. Get this out of the way. All right, my first impressions is, wow, it's really nice. It's sleek, and look how thin it is. Now you got the Apple icon right there. This is the unibody chassis. Looks nice. I'll be doing some more videos on this. Let's put this away and check out the other stuff we got here. This is the MagSafe 85 watt um, power supply, power adapter. It's part of it. And under this, I'm assuming we have the CDs. Yep, manual. Everything Mac, everything else. Congratulations, you and your MacBook Pro were made for each other. All right, that's the manual, and this includes the applications install DVD and some stickers. Wow. We also get this microfiber cloth clean the screen with. That's nice. Let's open this. Sticker there. Uh oh, we broke the seal. And here we have the notebook.
All right, let's take a tour of the laptop. The unibody chassis not only looks clean, but very professional as well. The model I got has the glossy screen and the colors look vivid and the brightness looks amazing. The keyboard comes in the island spacing style, though it is not rubberized chiclet keys. The keys are made out of plastic and when you're typing fast, you'll hear the pitter patter clicks. If you've never had backlit keys on your old computer, well, you're gonna love this. What I personally like is that it detects when you're in a low light environment and will automatically switch on. On a Windows laptop, the secondary functions of the F1 through F12 keys are usually set to screen brightness and volume settings, but on the Mac, it is their primary function when you press the button and you have to hold the function key to use the regular F1 through F12. But if you prefer the Windows way, you can change this in the system preferences. Here are the function commands. F1 and F2 are the screen brightness settings. F3 is the expose which shows all the open windows. F4 is the dashboard. F5 and F6 are keyboard brightness settings. F7 to F9 are media controls. Rewind, fast forward, and play and pause. F10 through F12 are volume settings. And the last button up here is the DVD eject button. The trackpad here puts the Windows trackpads to shame. It is spacious. I measured it at about 5 inches diagonal. And there are multiple touch commands, including single click, double clicking with two fingers, two finger scroll, pinch, zoom. three finger browsing and four finger program toggle which is similar to alt tab on PC and on Mac it's command tab alright on the left side we have the MagSafe port it's meant to break away if someone were to trip over the cord like so and as you can see, the mag stands for magnetized. Here's an RJ45 gigabit Ethernet port. This is a Firewire 800 port, mini display port, two USB 2.0 ports, an SD card slot, and this is a combined audio in and out port. And this is a cool feature. It shows the current battery charge once you press this button. Halfway charged. And on the right side, we have a Kensington lock key port. And this is the 8x slot load DVD super drive, optical drive. I like it because it sort of futuristic. It's a copy of Avatar. The jack key is right here as I showed you earlier. Alright, I can't show you everything in one video so I'm dividing these video reviews into multiple videos and I also show the gaming capabilities of this notebook. It's not a gamer's notebook but it can play modern games at decent frame rates. This notebook is a good combination of portability in terms of size and battery life and performance. Visit mycortex.com for more videos.